hello this is paul and you are welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to teach you how to use cool edit pro to record your audios on your laptop so you can download it i think i'll provide a link where you can download it but this is what i have cool edit pro so we the cool edit pro comes in mainly two different interfaces or windows okay so we can have the we have the single track window which is what we are seeing now and the multi-track window which is this so a single track multi-track but because we are just going to do with recording i will make other two more videos one on how to use a single track and the other on how to use a multi-track version but when you want to record you have to use a single track version okay so you can also switch between the single and the multi by clicking this icon at the top left here okay but in the recording like i said you have to use the multi sorry the single track window okay so you can see at the left bottom here we have the um let me see the media buttons play pause and all that we also have the record okay so if you want to start recording you can just write it right away click on this okay usually i leave it at the default which is default sample rate of 44,100, and everything i leave it i leave it at stereo and 16 bits so if you're okay with this you can go to okay and just start recording right away good so now we are recording and you can see the waveform of what i say okay so you can see it in a nice waveform so you can see that when i take the mouse the closer to the top track you can see that they are in two tracks the top track is the this is the left channel and the bottom is the right so you can see that when i take the mouse to the top i have l for left when i bring it to the bottom i have r for right so when I click, when I take it closer to the top and I click, you can see that it will only record for the left track. So the right is vacant, the right is empty. Okay, and when I go to the bottom and I click, you can see now the recording is done only for the bottom. So you can switch between where you want it to record. If you want to record at the bottom, at the top or let me say the left and the right and then if you want to go in the middle just click in the middle and then it continues in the middle so i've been recording you can see the time here for about a minute now and i would like to stop in the short time okay so you can click on this button here the stop button and that is it this is your recording this is your recording so let me play it quickly for you to hear and I'll just be showing you good but, so now, now we are recording and you can see the waveform of what I say okay so you can see it in a nice waveform so you can see that when I take the mouse to the closer to the top okay so now I just want to pause and show you how the top and the bottom recording works so if you are if you have a proper headphones or you have properly set up speakers you realize that the sound pans from the left to the right so what i mean is that the sound moves from the left headphone to the right headphone or if you have a speaker which has a left speakers and right speakers you see that when the recording on the left will just play on the left speaker the recording on the right channel will just play on the right speaker so that's what we call the mono but when we are playing both at the same time that's the stereo Okay, so let me just play so that you hear how it works. Track, you can see that they are in. So when I click, when I take it closer to the top, and I click, you can see that it will only record for the left track. So the right is vacant, the right is empty. Okay, and when I go to the bottom and I click, you can see now the recording is done only for the bottom so you can switch 
between where you want it to record if you want to record at the bottom at the top okay so that is it and as you could see at the bottom left here the media buttons i can also use to uh, stop play so when i click stop play and just control how i play with this audio okay <clears throat> sorry so i'm just going to teach you one some few tricks first let's save this audio recording that i just did so you can click on anywhere and save or you can go to here file save us and then you can name it whatever you want to so let me see audio no so let me name it um cool edit tutorial one okay so we'll go to so you can also change the format this one's in um it's in wave format you can save it as any format usually i like to save it either as a wave or as an mp3 so let's just leave it as wave so go to save and just like that your file is saved so if you have um let me see an a studio system or a chess system you can connect it to your laptop and whilst the preacher man the pastor is preaching or whoever the mc is talking it will be recorded directly so it won't take the ambient sound it will just take the the, the the sound from the system from the amp and the microphone directly and record it so you have a better sound okay so like i said a few a few setting a few things to show you then you are done okay the first that i want to show you is how to delete a portion how to delete a portion that's how come i saved them the audio so that i can easily edit this without recording about the original sorry without um being concerned about the original so you can just select this portion maybe you say okay i don't like this portion i made a mistake you can just select this small portion let me play it and see you can see that it only records select this portion then you can either you click on cut or you can just hit delete on your keyboard and it vanishes okay and i click for the left okay. that's good so now let me let me just show you one more time this left recording i did here you want to move it again you select this range and then you cut or you hit delete and it cuts so now you can see that that's out to the top and i click okay so that is it for the deleting a portion so you can delete any portion that you want select this portion hit delete on the keyboard and it goes away it's as easy as that if you want to undo what you did just hit ctrl z on your keyboard yep ctrl z ctrl z and you have it back wait 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 i don't know if i can show you let me see you can also cut and paste okay you can also as, as i cut and remove the portion you can also cut and paste let's see i just want to cut this portion i can just so like you saw just cut and then come here right click paste and you have it here this is the left channel and i click okay. for the left track so then good okay you can also once again select here cut bring it here and you paste sorry i think i made a mistake there so um select here cut and then you paste good now i click and if you want to like to stop in the short time okay, so that's okay. how you can just cut so a portion on this for the of, a, of an audio and, and paste it to the right somewhere hands. i'm sorry for recording and playing both at the same time and then what the next thing i'll teach you is how to edit and delete silence so sometimes when you're recording there's a bit of silence in the audio and then you want to just remove that part so 
you see for instance this i hold you you can check the time here at the bottom is one minute six seconds one minute six seconds and when you well when, when the reason i wanted to check it out is because when i cut a portion off or when i remove the silence you, you see that the time will reduce sometimes drastically if the silence portions are a lot so let me just take notes let's just take notes of your of the beginning here good you see the beginning has and now a bit of a silence good so now we, okay and this portion too has a bit of silence let's see look. okay <clears throat> so now you can select control a to select the whole track you go to edit you go to delete silence and then you can just leave these parameters in the default setting but if you get to know more about it you can take care of that so <clears throat> sorry so let's just hit ok and remember our time was 1 minute 6 seconds let's see if it will reduce here okay. good so now let's check our total time because the silent portion should have been removed now it is 51 seconds so we'll about 16 seconds, 17, 15 seconds have been deleted because of the silence. And let's play it and see how it now sounds without the silence. Good. So now we are recording and you can see the waveform of what I see. Okay, so you can see it in a nice waveform. So you can see that when I take the mouse the closer to the top track. Good. So now you can see that um, the recording is kind of um, flawless as in the, there are no breakages, there is no too long of a pause too long of a gap it flows seamlessly that's great and we can move on okay. and the last thing i would like to teach is sound enhancement but the sound enhancement sometimes messes up with the sound a bit so if you don't like how it sounds you can record the original then later and um, do the later when the sound enhancement is not up, up to what you like then you can revert back to your original audio but before you see the sound enhancement let me teach you how to also remove or silence certain portions maybe you instead of just cutting a portion out you just want to silence it so for instance let's take a look at this place the bottom is the right so you can see that. okay so now for something like this you can see that i can silence just the left part so that it will, it will sound as if it's panning to the right so when i select this right click and click silence okay so now let's play the it again bottom. and the bottom is the right so you can see that when i think so now that's how it is now let me silence this portion too sorry so right click and then silence just like that this portion too goes okay. and when i go to the bottom and, and now you see this this one has also created a longer silence pause here so if, if you select the whole thing and then go back to edit, delete silence, all those parts will be removed so that the audio will be further shortened. Good. Just like this. And then now our audio is from 1 minute 6 seconds to 51 seconds. Now it's just 42 seconds. Okay. So now let's do the audio enhancements. But before that, let me play it for you to hear how it is so that you compare it to the new audio and see if you you will still like it good so now we are recording and you can see the wave good so with the audio enhancement you select everything go to effects and then go to amp dynamic processing you go to um, the ESA light if i'm not mistaken yep Easter light go to okay good so now we are recording and you can see so there's there's a little bit more power in it again okay, go to effect filters then graphic equalizer you go to spit clear go to okay good so now we are recording to effects hard and limiting you leave it as the default setting minus one six seven and hundred go to ok good so now we are recording and you can see the waveform of what i see nice so now you see that the recording has more power more vocal power in it so we can decide to leave it here or we can decide to go on and adding more effects 
So in the next effect we go to filters, we go to FFC filter, then we go down to mastering heavy and wide, go to OK. Good. So now we are recording. Okay, let's, then let's do the last effect. Amplify amplitude, then go to dynamic processing. And this last effect, um, I think it's optional vocal comp. You can decide not to do because sometimes it's increase the noise at the background. Good. So now we are recording and you can see the waveform of what I say. Okay, so you can see it in a nice wave. Great. So that is how to do your recording. And once again, you can save this. Save as, save it as a new copy or just overwrite the old copy. And then you are done. This already exists, okay? So, no, let's name it as two. Good. So, that is all on how to record your sound in Cool Edit Pro. I'll be making two more videos on how to edit sound in a single track version and also in the multi-track version. Thank you very much and thank you for joining me. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel you can send me a message a comment so that i add more videos on this and then that'll be good thank you